The increase in asthma prevalence has actually occurred across the board. Um, and as I said, there are various and complex reasons for that. When we move on to air quality, I mean, again, it's a complex issue with air quality. We can talk about the outdoor air, the indoor air. We can talk about the allergen load. You, you mentioned, Lizzie, dust mite and pollen to a lesser extent when we're talking about asthma. Um, and then the air quality, by that you're implying the level of um, pollutants and fine particles. And to me, there is absolutely no doubt reading the literature that there is growing evidence of the harmfulness of these aspects of our outdoor air quality, particularly the quantity of fine particles, the PM 2.5 as they're called. These are tiny particles that basically come from car exhausts, coal burning, um, soluble heavy metals and so on. And in the last two years in the medical literature, there have been some excellent studies, carefully done, very expensive long-term studies that to me give us proof positive of the link between severe asthma episodes, admissions to ICU and to hospital, linked with the level of these particulate matters and ozone, carbon monoxide and so forth. And these are in societies where those levels measured by people like the um, EPA would not exceed WHO recommended standards. So we don't even have to talk about excessively polluted areas. We can just look at our own regions that have acceptable levels, if there's any such thing, and show that as those go up and down, so do admissions with severe asthma exacerbations. And I think that's an enormously worrying problem for us to deal with as a society.